All right, guys, we're going, we're live. Happy December 1st. We, um, we are gearing up here at the bakery for Christmas time, and we're really excited um, to really finish off these last three weeks strong. So um, with that being said, we have our cookie decorating kit we're going to be doing. Uh, it's more of a cookie wreath, which is um, different. We haven't really done that before, so excited for that today. Um, it's going to look like this um, when you're all finished. So that's just my first attempt at it, at it, and they're really, really cute. So excited. Something different. The colors are muted and beautiful, so I love that. Um, just a couple updates here about the bakery. We have a lot of our Christmas items are now being published on the website, so I know a bunch of people are asking about. Let's see. We have the Paint Your Own Cookies on there. Um, so we have a few different designs we're doing. So if you order these online, you can order them for Christmas. I know a lot of people like to put them in their stockings. So those are available. And then we also have our Christmas card sugar cookie that we're doing. So look how cute that is. You put your family picture on it, and I put a little wreath around it for you. So I'll, you know, if you just send me your picture, upload your picture, then I add the wreath, and like, how cute is that? So just kind of a different take on um, Christmas cards or sharing your family photo. And then we also have our sugar cookie um, Christmas designs coming out. They're freaking adorable. Look how cute those are. So these are just a few of them too. And these are all online, so if you only want like a four pack or a six pack, they'll be on there. Um, or you could come in store in the store and purchase them. So really cute also for little um, gifts to add to Christmas stuff. Another thing that we're going to be doing this year is we have sprinkles. Um, as you guys know, we're kind of um, closing the retail side. So I have a ton of sprinkles that um, I have that I'm selling at the door. So we're going to have this. We also have fresh royal icing that you can buy in addition to these. And I also have um, piping bags and stuff. So if you wanted to do cookies at home and you just needed some royal icing, sprinkles, um, frosting tips and stuff, I'll have all those available at the bakery. So, um, and also I was kind of considering just doing some uh, sugar cookies that aren't even frosted, you know, that are blank, and you can buy those and create your own cookie kit. So these are a dollar a piece. Um, really just don't want these to go to waste. They're great sprinkles. These ones, I have Christmas ones out right now. These ones are really cute Christmas colors that I've used in the past. Um, adorable. And then uh, these ones are kind of your traditional cookie color mix. Okay. All right. Um, with all that being said, we have about three weeks left of retail at the bakery. And then um, we're going to be moving on to our e-commerce side of the business. We also have somebody who has officially signed the lease and they're going to be moving in on January 1. Um, we're going to do an announcement together so we can kind of give you a little bit more information on who's going to be moving in and how that's going to look. So kind of exciting. All right. So with that all being said, um, you're welcome to send me messages on here if you have any questions about anything. We are also shipping a lot of cookie kits, a lot of cookie, um, you know, orders to send to clients and stuff. So if you haven't got that order in, make sure and get that in with us, okay? All right, so this is our Christmas cookie kit box that we're doing. It's going to be in the shape of a wreath. I'm going to put this up here so I can get going and decorating so you guys are tired of hearing me talking. All right. So here's what it's going to look like within your kit. Um, I put six different colors of frosting in there, so exciting stuff. The more colors, the more um, detailed you can get your cookies, and I just love that. Okay, So you're going to get eight cookies, and they're going to look like this from your kit. Obviously not decorated yet. One thing that you want to grab is you want to grab a pair of scissors. Um, a little towel, like I like to have a damp towel near me, and then um, I think that's all you need. And then just kind of some space so that you don't run into, you know, messing up your cookies. Um, 
uh, the colors are going to be these right here. We have a white, we have a, a muted red, muted forest green, an ivory, muted black, and then a lighter brown, okay? Really pretty. The end results, they all go together really well, all right? So in the mix, we are going to end up with, you're going to have a Santa Claus, you'll have a Rudolph, you'll have a door with a wreath on it, then just kind of like a little, reminds me of a Char Charlie Brown Christmas tree, okay, really cute. And then this is a snow globe, we have a candy cane, we have a house, we have some fun little greenery, think of it, you know, as something that you find on a wreath maybe, okay. Um, so the theme is a wreath cookie set. So along with that, I've kind of added some touches of greenery almost on all the cookies. Okay. Um, the other thing I also wanted to know is that we are doing a Hanukkah box this year, and it is online. So if you wanted to order a Hanukkah box, just wanted you guys to know there is one available. Okay. All right. So here's all the colors. Now, just to go over the steps first, we're going to mix your bags of frosting. Now, I made my... Um, frosting, you know, it depends on when you get it. We make batches all the time, right? So sometimes it's thicker, sometimes it's thinner. I want you to go ahead and massage the bag, okay? Make sure that it, the color is one color. It just mixes up the frosting. Um, it usually ends up separating from the sugars and the waters, and then um, sometimes it comes out runny. So just mix it up really good, okay? And then once you're done mixing, I want to note that there is a seal on the top of the bag. That's not to keep the frosting in. Okay, so if a kid comes and grabs it and they squeeze it really hard, that frosting will come out. This seal here is just so that the frosting doesn't dry out, all right? Um, so what I recommend is twisting the bag and putting a clip on it, right here, okay? Or a piece of tape, and then you cut the bottom. So um, the way that I explain this is the smaller you cut off, the better, because you can always cut off a little more if you need to, okay? If you cut it off too big at the beginning and you're following the video, you're going to be really frustrated because you're not going to be able to do some of the things, okay? Now, if you're just like somebody who's just kind of going for it and you don't want to follow along, that's fine. Cut it as big as you want, okay? So I cut the smallest little tip, and if I need to, I'll go back and cut off more later, okay? So if I cut off too much at the beginning, though, um, you just can't go back, okay? So you do that with all your bags of frosting. Most of these are mixed in. The cookie kit is released today, so I have um, a few pickups that are happening already this week. I'm shipping out your cookies, so if you ordered a box uh, um, for shipping, those get shipped um, today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Um, we just, we'll ship them out in batches. So you should be getting those here soon. All right? Okay. So I'm going to cut the little tip here. I'm just going to get all of my cookies, all my bags ready. Just be careful not to get this um, tip like on your cookie. You don't want that to get into the decorating process. Okay. Okay. So now that all my bags are t are um, cut and ready, I have my needle also that you guys each got in there. This just helps with the decorating. Okay. And then you're going to take all your your cookies out of your bags. Um, we put them in bags just to kind of keep them fresh. Um, depends on when you're getting if we seal them or not. We seal all the shipping ones. So just either cut them out or open them up. Okay, and you should have eight cookies. And they're going to look just like this. They fit perfect on like a tray. Okay, and I believe this is a... Um, a 10 inch tray, I believe. But look how cute this is. So say you bring it to an event, and I'll have some cookies on here that say Merry Christmas. But in the middle of here, sorry, my thing's moving. You can put something on here that says Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and bring it, you know, to your event if you want it. So really cute. Okay, so here's all the cookies. First thing that we do in this process is you make sure that everything's all set up. So you're gonna have your bags of frosting. You're going to have your needle near, nearby. You're also going to have a towel, something just to wipe that frosting off. Okay? And then you have your eight cookies. We're going to go through, we're going to outline all of our cookies, and then um, just kind of follow the steps of outlining and filling in, also known as flooding. 
and um, we'll create some beautiful cookies together. Um, I also challenge some of you. I know that I have a pre-designed um, a pre-designed well, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, what I want you to do is cre get creative. I want to see some of you just kind of go for it um, and create your own designs on here because I know that I have those of you who do follow me and <laughs> get cookies, and I love seeing what you come up with. So either can follow my designs or create your, your own. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we're going to get started. So first things first, let's start with, um, I love the house, by the way. It's so cute, this is. That's our house, okay? Um, okay, so on that one, let's start with that first. We're going to just put a white background. And how we're going to do that is you're going to just put the frosting, and you can grab a knife for this, you can use your finger, you can use the needle, whatever. But you're just going to layer a thing of frosting on here, okay? And then you're going to take it, and I'm just going to use my finger just because I'm not planning on giving these cookies to anyone, okay? Um, but if you're going to be sharing them with people, you can use this, you can use a, a butter knife or something, and you just spread it on. And you just want a thin white layer of frosting, okay? So it's going to have like that wood-like texture at the end when you're done with it. And you don't have to get the roof side because we are going to add on a roof. But you're just going to put this on, make sure you get all the crevices, okay? And then with that, since the wood grain kind of goes from side to side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to go this way, go like this, okay? Like I said, if you're more comfortable, use a knife, use your needle, whatever, okay? I'm using my finger, okay? And that's why you want to have a towel nearby. So I just did that. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then we'll come back to that one, okay? Um, another one that I want to do is we're going to grab our snow globe. Let's grab our snow globe, and on the before we do that, I'm going to do it to where it's dimensional, okay? That's one thing that I wanted to share with you on these, is to kind of give the cookies a little bit of a dimensional look instead of just one dimensional, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing on the snow globe that I just done the house, and I'm actually going to add a little bit more frosting on this one, though, because I kind of want it to be a little thicker, not as thin, okay? So I take it, and I'm just going to, and it's okay if you get it underneath, and I just kind of went three quarters of the top here. I'm just going to spread it on. Okay, just kind of give it some texture. Never did you think you'd be decorating cookies with your finger, did you? You learn something new every day. Then I'm going to go around the edge and just kind of tear off any or uh, wipe off any extra. And I'm going to leave it just like this. Okay. And the other thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw the ground. So I'm going to take it. Okay. And then I'm going to just kind of put like little hills in there so they kind of show up when I end up flooding. Okay. And then you're also going to take your red. And you're going to outline this bottom part. Think of the bottom of a snow globe, how sometimes it's red or green or blue. So we're just going to put it in like this. Okay? All right. So we'll let, set that aside for a second or for a few minutes. What is the other one? Let's start with um, Santa now. So with Santa... I'm going to draw his hat on. So here, there's a brim, okay? And the brim looks like this. So we're gonna draw the red hat on, and we're gonna draw the brim. Uh, we're just outlining the face and the beard. I'm just gonna give you, kind of show you just an example so that you kind of, you know where I'm headed here, okay? So we're gonna take this. I'm going to draw in the red, outline it, and then you're going to take the white. Okay. 
And then we're going to take the ivory and you're going to draw the, the face, which is just a little half circle. Okay. I'm kind of not liking this little part, so I'm just going to wipe it off just a bit. All right. And then we're going to draw on the beard. All right, we'll set that aside. And then we will do, let's do the candy cane next. For the candy cane, I was trying to decide if we should put it with the background. So this is what the candy cane is gonna look like. I don't really like this open space, you know what I mean? So what I was thinking, was putting on a little green for the background. You don't need a lot, just a little bit like, just kind of visually see where maybe that candy cane's gonna go. All right. That way, there's not like that void. I don't like having voids on my cookies of space. Okay, so take your black and we're gonna outline this candy cane. Now, a lot of this is gonna be like free handing. So I do apologize for those that aren't as good, but you know what, give it a try. I'm sure it will turn out better than what you expect. really hard, hard time talking as I do that so okay so you're gonna put that on and now you're also gonna put on the red line so I'm gonna put one here and then I'm gonna put a little dot in there knowing that that's gonna be my red section okay Kind of taking my time with this. There's no rush. And then the end here. Okay, and we're just gonna let that sit and dry. And this one's going to be our tree. This is a fun one. This is our. Um, actually, before we do the tree, let's start working on the door. I do want to start it, but so for the door. This is the wreath with the door. So we're going to just, the same thing that we did with the house. Just put a little bit of red underneath. Something really adorable about a red door. I just love red, red doors. Okay, so I'm gonna just, again, spread out with my finger. You can use a knife, your needle, whichever. It doesn't have to be smooth because it's just a door. Just make sure you get Okay. I'm going to let that dry for a minute because I don't want that red kind of uh, melting into the green or when I do the wreath, okay? 
So, yes, I do want to do the tree, but the tree is probably one of the simpler ones. And then Rudolph. Let's do Rudolph real quick. This is our Rudolph. Okay. Take it and just kind of find a good starting spot down there. Now it's really hard to try to find that center point and I don't like where mine landed so I'm going to erase it and fix it. Still kind of came out the same, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, and then you're going to do the rest of the head up here. So I've been doing this box, you know, for how many years now? Cookie kits. So um, I figured for this last one, I wanted to do a more difficult box because I know a lot of people have been doing it. And I think that I have a lot of expert decorators out there by this point, right? So just have fun with it. Perfect. Okay, and then we also want to draw the ears on. I'm going to start up here. Little doughy ears. So cute. That one's not falling very well. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. And then if you want, let's draw on the horns or the antlers. Horns. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just do a little bit thicker of a line here. And then off here, I'm going to just draw another. Just like that. And then same thing on this side. And then we're also going to do a bow, but I think we'll wait to do the bow last. <laughs> Once we get these all designed and filled in, um, the rest will be a breeze, okay? This is definitely the hardest part. Okay, so on this one, we're going to do a star on the top. It's going to look like this. Now, you're probably thinking, I don't want to have to draw a star. I've never been good at drawing stars. Well, I'm going to show you that a trick that's going to make you draw a star perfect every time. Um, and it's really not a trick. We grew up doing stars like this, right? But you start here, you go up, then you go down. And this is going to help you with drawing a, um, a star and getting it perfect. Okay? Just like that. And then you go ahead and let's just fill this in. Okay, and look at, perfect. Well, in my eyes. Okay, now we're gonna draw the branches for this Christmas tree. You take it, you go down, and I'm gonna do it again. I like to make the branch, I'm just doing a few lines on there. Okay, so it kind of thickens up, but they look like branches. This one right here is probably going to be the most tedious cookie, by the way. 
It comes out cute, but it takes a lot of hand strength because you are piping lines on it and your hand will start to cramp. It's okay though. We're all in this together. You're not the only one. All right, this one is going to be our pretty little floral arrangement, okay? That's what it's gonna end up looking like. So I'm gonna just kind of freehand draw these on and you do your best doing it. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Come up. Okay, and then on this side, come down. Okay, so that's how that side will look. And then on the other side, we're gonna have a twig. Comes down. Okay. And on the top, we're gonna have like some kind of black flower. Okay, that's pretty, but um, I did this last time where I went up a little too high with it. You take it and you're gonna just draw one layer here. And you're gonna draw another one and they're just like little squares. Okay. And then you're also going to take it and lead up to your berry branch that comes out here. And then draw little branches that kind of segue off. And then you can have one that kind of goes in there. Okay? And then for the green, I already messed this guy up. I have a little divot in my cookie, but that's okay. Okay, and then for the green one, I'm just going to fill in these leaves because if you let it dry, it's just going to be a huge outline and you don't want the outlines to be much, right? So then just fill in the space. So that one was a little smaller, but I'm going to make this one bigger because there's more space for this um, leaf to fill. I'm going to give it a little bit of fullness here because I want it to have that dimension, okay? And then we're going to come down and grab this one. Just fill it in. It's so funny because when I was looking at my cookie set for the cookies, I was like, oh, I don't know about this one. But actually, it kind of turned out to be one of my favorite one out of the whole set. I'll probably say that later about another cookie cutter, so just forget I said that if that's the case. I always change my mind as the video goes on. And then we'll do one more down here. And see, even with my example cookie, see how it just kind of comes out differently? So just fill in the space, make it look nice. It doesn't have to be the same every time, okay? I have four leaves on here. This one, I think it needed five, all right? So we'll set that aside. Let's work on our wreath. So with the wreath, you can kind of see the roundness up here, right? 
So I'll show you. It's just a big circle, but we're going to make it a big, puffy wreath. Wreath. I keep saying wreath. Kind of get it as close to the edge, just in case if you didn't get that red all the way over there, but that way. Okay. And then the middle, just make those big billowy. Okay. We'll come back to that one. Let's fill in. Now we're going to start flooding. Okay. So let's grab some of the cookie. Oh, um, we'll do the door or the house here in a minute. But let's start with our reindeer. So I'm not going to cut my bags any bigger. I just I kind of like them being small right now. But I'm going to try to fill in as much as I can without having to cut the bag. Okay. And, um, so you kind of have to work fast. Now, if you want to cut the bag, not a big deal, but I think I still have some more details I want to use with this. So I cut it just the tiniest bit just then, just because it was too small. Okay, just fill it in. Move fast. Get a nice, thick layer. I think a lot of the times people are afraid to fill that space with a thick frosting, but don't be afraid of that. Don't leave it thin. You want these cookies to look nice and edible, right? The more frosting you see on there, the better they look because you just want to take a big bite out of them. So I shake it back and forth like this. Be careful. You don't want to break the ears. And it smooths out. You can also take your needle, smooth it out a little bit. Eventually it will fall in as long as you move fast enough, okay? If you're not moving fast enough, that's okay. Just have some character. Okay, and because um, I just think it's really cute, I'm putting just a couple dots on the head, even though I know that's for like a baby. And this one has antlers, but maybe it's just a young teenager. I don't know, but it's cute with it, okay? And then let's fill in the bottom part for the face, Let's make sure I don't like how the if you have some spots sticking up, just touch them, they'll fall in. Okay, okay, so we're gonna take the ivory, and we're gonna do the same and fill it in down here. And I'm just gonna cut just the tiniest little bit. Actually, I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. Let me set this aside, because one thing I want to do before we start cutting things is our um, snow globe. Okay? So in the snow globe, we're going to have two different trees. I'm going to have a little puffy tree, kind of like the wreath that we did. But I'm going to just fill it in here, just make it nice and puffy. and then smooth it out. Okay. Then the other tree is going to be kind of like our, just a pine tree. Okay. I'll just draw this down. And we're going to just Okay, and I'm just going to kind of put them like this, make it a little messy, and then we'll get back to it here in a second. One thing I want to be able to put on here, though, is the star. Okay, the star is going to be with this one. And all you're going to do is put five little dots. And it's really hard, I think, to see, and I do apologize. We're going to put five little dots around, like a circle. See how I did that? And then you're going to just kind of pull them in so that it has the 
idea of just a star sitting on top of this tree, which is really cute. Okay? And you can even take your needle, wipe it off first. And I'll kind of give this tree a little bit more help. And you can kind of create little points for the star. Even it out. But look at how cute that is and easy. Okay? Then on this one over here, because it's a snow globe, I just want to add a little bit of snow to it. Let's put some on top, too. Okay? Down at the bottom here, I'm going to fill it in with the white. Now I want this to be thicker than the white that we sprayed on. Again, we're going for dimension, especially with a snow globe, right? I'm making it so you can see. Higher than that, okay? Smooth it out. Take my needle a lot of times. And this is, I'm just moving the frosting around so it's one, um, one even layer of frosting. If it's not even, then things kind of go awry. So we're going to take it and I'm going to just draw some lines on here so it looks kind of just a little hilly. Okay. And I'm going to go around like this. I'm going to take my brown and put this down here just a little bit lower. And then take your white. And I'm going to just draw little white balls on here so it looks like it's snowing. My other one I used black, but I was like, I think it'd be really cute if I just put the white dots. Put them all over like it's snowing in the snow globe. Okay. Then on this one, on the pine one, I'm going to put on little red berries. Okay, just a couple. And then on the bottom part, we're going to fill it in. Okay. And again, you want that to be an even layer. And shake it. Do a little tap. Don't tap too hard. You don't want to break it. It will all smooth out. Okay, it'll fall in. Then the last thing I want to do is add a little line around. Okay, and then also I want to draw it like it has a glass line on it so you can tell that it's a, a glass. Okay, and then just another little line that kind of comes down here. Like it's inside something. All right, freaking adorable. Hopefully, my cookies stayed in view there. Okay. All right, let's start working on the Santa. We need to start filling in some spots here.
We're get one second. I'm gonna. We're getting more today. Can you call Bella? Call her. All right, so that's the face, and I'm going to add in the eyes right now so they sink in. Okay, and then I'm going to... the top of the hat. And I like to put a lot of the frosting on. Again, I said, I said this before, but I just kind of like how it looks really thick on there. Start. Let's go ahead and fill in our reindeer face. I'm gonna. Actually, before we do this, let's do our house because I need a thin line for the house. That's going to be for the roof, and now we're going to also do, we're going to do the lines for the shiplap, I guess is what you call it, maybe. Those designers out there don't hate me if that's not correct. I don't know that it's shiplap as it is like wood. I don't know. Anyways. Okay. Then I'm going to draw this one. Okay, and then we're going to do the windows. I'm filling them in. I love the look of this one. Okay. It's just a little different than anything I've done. So I'm going to just smooth out the frosting and create an evil, even layer on there. Not evil, but even. And then you're going to give it a good shake. The next thing you want to do is fill in the roof with the black. It's the thing, right? Black accents with the white houses. It's totally in right now. And it actually makes me want to paint my house white. <laughs> Okay. We're going to let that smooth out for a minute. Let's work on our candy cane. 
I'm going to fill in the red spots. And I put a little dot so I knew where the red spots are going, so I'm just going to fill it in real quick, kind of avoiding going over that black line because I kind of want the black to show. So it looks like it's an outline, okay? Now you can do this one section at a time so there's no rush of trying to get it all done and then smooth, right? So I'm going to do this. And then I just added a little different touch on these. And I'm going to add in just a black line on here. Just because, why not? Okay, and I'm going to do that all the way through on those red spots. And you can shake it after you put the black on, so it falls in a little better. All right, now let's add on a little bit of white in between. I need to have some white for Santa, so don't use all the white here. Just fill it in. Best you can. We'll go to shake here in a second. Fixing it, making sure that it falls in all the right places. 
the last piece. Now, on the roof of the house, we're just going to draw a little line of white, just so it looks like it has another, like, kind of a rim or something underneath. More finished look. I can get a straight line. Okay. And then I'm going to add on my light strings here. So. Let it fall over the window a little bit. Take it from the middle. All the way to the end here. Okay? All right, now that that's done, we can... A couple of things here. So let's go ahead and cut the bag. This guy's just a little bit bigger. Okay? And I'm going to fill in this spot and this spot. Just give it a nice, good fill. And then we're going to draw on the eyeballs. Nice, big, doughy eyes. Okay, and then we also can fill in the brown here of the ears. Keep moving the paper that I'm the parchment paper, it's messing me up. Okay, and then just give it a little shake. Again, don't break the ears or the antlers. Okay. We'll let that sit and then we'll add the little red nose on top and some greenery. Let's do um do Santa's beard first and then we'll do this guy. Again, I think we can cut this a little bigger. Okay, and then now um, let's wait to fill in the hat. We'll fill in this guy real quick. Just gonna draw it just to make sure everything like the frosting's smooth and even throughout and it'll fall in really nicely. And then I'm also gonna draw a little line from the stem. Kind of go up the middle of it. Okay. Shake it if you want to fall in. This guy, we're going to do the green. 
Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's do this guy. Because we can cut the bag bigger. But for this one, you don't want the bag to be huge. Okay. So I'm just going to draw little lines on it, just like this. Okay. So this is where we want to make sure frosting's really well mixed. I mean, it could be runny still, but just make sure your hole's not big enough. Okay. Because if it's too big, it's this part won't look good. Or it will, but you just have to do it differently. And you can figure that out as you're going. Okay. I'm just going to put in lots of lines here. This is where the hand cramping might ensue. So you can either follow me with this or do your own variation. I'm trying to avoid that star. Kind of like the look of just the single ones, the single needles, right? Okay, it's coming together. So I'm going to do one and then I'll add on more here in a minute. So I wanted to get this on here so we can kind of add more as it kind of set a bit. All right. Let that set for a second. Then the other thing that we need to do is add on some greenery um, on Santa's hat. And we're just going to make a big pile of frosting and then kind of pull so it looks like a leaf. Okay. And it's okay if they kind of run into each other. Um, we're going to put berries on there, so it's not going to make a difference. While we are at it, let's add on some more white on his hat. And then I'm going to draw in his little mustache. Same way that I did the leaves. Okay. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit. On this guy, we're also going to add on a little bit of greenery. Not much. Just a little one, two, Okay, let's add on the red nose here. And on the red nose, you could either do this or not, but I'm just going to add the slightest bit of white here on the side so it looks like it's, you know, light. For frosty, the root. For frost, or for, um, not frosty, Rudolph. Okay, and then um, another thing I added on that I thought was really cute was just a little ribbon. Let's see. I'm going to fill in this part. Fill in this part. And I'm going to take my black and a little detail here. Okay, 
So that's just half the bow, and then we'll do the other half once that dries for a minute. Um, we'll let the mistletoe, or the, yeah, I'm just calling the green stuff mistletoe now. So on this one, we're also going to draw on the greenery, um, but actually, this one has this leaf up here, so we're going to add this on here. And then also the green, just on the side of it. And I'm going to add this on here. I'm also going to just add this so that you guys can tell that that's kind of part of that cute leaf. Okay, leave that for now. And then let's do this guy. So how I did this, so I'm going to put just black up here on the top half of the insides here. Okay, so it's going to look like that. You're not filling it all the way in. Okay. And then you're going to take the white and you're going to put it in on the bottom. A little squirt there. Okay. Then take your needle and fill it in. Give it that just look that it's a two tone leaf or petal, whatever you want to call it. I'll do that and it looks really pretty. Okay. Take the red, you're going to get some berries on this bush, not the brown, the red. Some on top. Make these a little bigger than I made on the other ones because I think it fills up space better. You don't want like a little um, horn coming off just kind of toward your... Right, and then I think it looks cute putting some berries in between here um, for the mistletoe. That's adorable. Okay. Now grab your house. You're going to add the lights on. How we're going to do that, just little dots of green and red, so every other color. So I'm going to just leave a space for in between. And I'm going to add the red on. And there you go, you've got the string of lights on the house. Let's add some more details to our Charlie Brown Christmas tree. So what I like, I'm gonna add on just some more pine needles. I just love the texture look, to, look of these. It's one of my favorites. I'm trying to avoid covering the star at all costs. You want it to keep its shape, especially when you work so hard to get a perfect shaped star.
Again, the more frosting on a cookie, the better, I think. Especially if you want it to look appealing and appetizing. Okay. Set that aside for another minute. I know I need to get to that wreath. Okay. So let's put on this one. We'll wait for this one. Wait for that one. Santa. I think we could add on his nose. Okay. Just a little nose in the middle. Oh, and then let's put on his um, mistletoe berries. So I'm going to just put little ones, not very big on here. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, looks cute. Santa's done. All right, next one, let's work on this uh, wreath real quick. And then we can finish up the rest of these. I'm gonna cut my green just a little bit bigger. Got all the details done I wanted to do. I'm gonna just really fill this in so it's nice and fluffy. Okay. I think we're done with the green, so it's okay if you use the rest of the green on this. There's nothing better than like a big fluffy Christmas wreath on your door. Okay, so that's your goal of this. I'm going to take it, you can use your needle, the tip of the bag, just kind of All nice and full. Okay. One thing I want to add on this is just kind of a door, like so it looks like it's on a door, so I'm just using the black. I'm going to just draw those little rectangles that you find on the doors. You may not have known what it was until I told you, but hey. Now you're like, oh yeah, that's great. Otherwise you're like, what the heck are those? Okay. So one thing I would like to do on this one, I want to outline it with the white. Just so it has some more dimension. Okay. And then I'm just going to draw like a couple of these things on. So it's puffy, maybe a little touch of like snow on it. I don't know, whatever you want to imagine that as, okay? And then we will add the berries in a second. I don't want it to really fall in too much yet, so let's finish this guy on the other side of the bow. Outline it with the black. This gives it an extra little touch. We're going to add on some berries. And then we'll let this uh, bow dry for a minute and then I'll add on the last piece of the bow. Let's add on the berries on this guy. Okay. It's kind of a pile of leaves and berries it looks like, but that's cute. That one's done. Okay, so the last few that we need to do Let's add on some red berries on this one. 
and I'm just putting them in random spots kind of all over the place. I don't want to do too many. Okay, there you go, your tree's done. I think it's adorable. Love the dimension. Okay, set that aside. Then you're gonna grab your wreath. We're going to draw on our ribbon. Okay, now with this, we want this one to be, let's see, I'm just trying to see how I did it on my first one. So I'm going to fill it in, even though I know that the wreath is probably not all the way dry quite yet. The hardest part is drawing on a bow or a ribbon when the frosting, you know, is really high. But that's okay. It'll look fine. It's just hard. Harder, right? And do that. Okay? And then I'm going to outline it so you know that it's a bow. Because right now it just looks like a big old X. <laughs> We'll let that sit and I'll show you how we're going to finish that up. Now we've got our reindeer I'm right in the middle of this. I'm going to just put that. Oh, my nose is messing with me. Okay, then we're going to outline the circle in the middle so that it... Okay, and there you go. So cute that bow is. All right, and the last one, let's add on some berries on here. Cute. I still want this to sit for a minute, but I think we're just about done with our whole set. So I'm going to bring it over. All right, so look, that is our Christmas set that we're doing, and they're all adorable. I actually like it, how it turned out the second time around versus the first time. So, anyways, very cute. We've got your house with lights on it. We have a snow globe, which has dimension. So fun. I love doing that kind of stuff. We've got Santa. We've got a candy cane with a little bit of greenery. We have our Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, our tree and then some um, greenery and then some Christmas greenery right 
And this one, I want to finish up too for you guys, but it's not quite ready, so I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. All right, so that's it. Our um, boxes are available for pickup. Um, if you have picked a date, just come on your date and grab it. Um, and we will see you guys here throughout the rest of the three weeks. Make sure and come by and say hello and say give your goodbyes and maybe even, I don't know, tell me your stories about how the bakeries impacted your life one way or another. I would love to hear about that. So I'm going to just put on the, the um, middle of the bow here. Still a little wet, but I think it'll be fine. And then we're just going to draw this. And there, and there you go. You've got your bow. Okay, cute. So this is on a door. I mean, how sick and cute did that come out? They all came out so cute. I'm going to put this in its little spot. All right, there's your um, cookie reef that we just made together. Really, really adorable. Ton of fun. All right, guys. Well, that's it for now. And um, enjoy decorating.